Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Comic Book Nostalgia. I'm CB Nostalgia, and we have a little update on Comic-Con and DC Films. Well, as we reported the other day, it was some pretty big news, but Marvel Studios will indeed be returning to San Diego Comic-Con this year. It will be the first time that particular studio has been there since 2019. And, as expected, their direct rivals, Warner Brothers DC Films, will also make their presence felt. Now, after Kevin Feige announced that Marvel Studios will be returning, fans pretty much made it pretty clear they were expecting a significant showing, and since they're taking up time in Hall H, I think that's exactly what's going on. And, like I said, they're not going to be alone. Now, this report comes from The Hollywood Reporter, and what they're saying is that Warner Brothers Discovery, fresh off that recent merger, will also be in attendance, and it sounds like DC Films is going to have a little bit of a different presence than usual. Probably the biggest thing that we're hearing is how they will have quite the different presence on the convention floor. First and foremost, DC will have no presence on the floor, and neither will CW. Shows like The Flash, Superman and Lois, and even that upcoming Supernatural prequel will all be absent. And what the trade is saying is this is because the network is facing possible sale, and that kind of makes a lot of sense to me from a cost center perspective. It appears a lot of other stuff will also be missing from their presentation, and I found some of this kind of weird. What the trade is reporting, and I quote, movies that are to open in 2023, such as The Flash and Blue Beetle, will not have panels, regardless of the presence, as they are considered too far out for any panel to have any meaningful impact. Now, what this means to me is are likely to focus on movies that are scheduled to release for the rest of this year. That will be Black Adam, Shazam! Fury of the Gods, and Aquaman, which comes earlier next year. But none of this is confirmed, and the trade's referring to this as still being hashed out. So there is a possibility of very little of this content, too. Additionally, The Hollywood Reporter added, and I quote, Warner Brother Discovery's presence at Comic-Con is intended to reassure fans that the company still has them top of mind, even as the merger remakes executive ranks and aligns the company's divisions, including HBO Max, Warner Brothers Pictures, and DC, in a new direction. So it sounds to me that DC is really planning something small, but just reassuring for fans at Comic-Con. I actually don't know how this will go over. Quite honestly, fans are expecting to have their socks blown off at San Diego Comic-Con. And if you manage to plow your way into Hall H, you don't want to just sit there and get nothing. I do think DC will probably present some content for some of their projects, but I am kind of worried that they're not going to extend anything into the next year because that's where most of their bigger projects lie. This will be just before Black Adam releases, so I expect we'll see a good bit of that. Heck, they might even do a screening. But for the rest of their projects, you have to wonder what they're thinking. Now, obviously, fans want to know details about The Flash, and I understand why they probably don't want to talk about that. Many of those details are still, quite honestly, a mess, and none of that has been resolved, and it is a dynamic and ongoing situation, so I do understand why Zasloff does not want to focus on The Flash specifically. Now, I really don't think this means we won't get any goodies from DC at Comic-Con, so I don't want to be a total pessimist. At this point, Doom Patrol and Titans will be wrapping up production. We know Harley Quinn Season 3 is going to get its own panel, and I think an announcement and actually the show to drop that day. There's also the big question for many people on this channel, which is the status of Young Justice. And that's another place we're really hoping to hear something about the fifth season of Young Justice, so fingers crossed for that. There's also a whole plethora of other HBO shows that are either in pre-production or early in production, one of them being Green Lantern. So don't worry, I know they'll have stuff for us, just not as much focused on the big screen and nothing very far out. Now we are absolutely going to be covering San Diego Comic-Con 2022. It starts on Thursday, July the 21st and runs through Sunday the 24th. We won't be there on site, but we'll be covering it online. So if you want to get all your Comic-Con updates, I would make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. So, until we get more news, what do you guys think? Are you happy to see DC Films also return to San Diego Comic-Con for this year? And, how do you feel about the rather limited slate they're going to offer up at this year's convention? Quite honestly, it's a little concerning to me. Tell me what you think in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure you hit like, click subscribe, and if you don't ring that bell, you won't get any updates. Peace.